Hey everyone, this is Zach with PC Simplest, and before we kick off this week's AMA, I just want to let you guys know that this coming Sunday, February 7th, we are doing our live Ask Me Anything. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'm in the Chicago area, so you know, get your time zones right here, people. Uh, we're going to do 10 p.m. because that's really the best time that that's going to work for me. And hopefully that time works for you guys. Maybe you Eastern folks, it might be a little bit too late for you. Um, but I probably will try to be on around 9.30 or so just to get everything set up. And then at 10 o'clock, we will do our live Ask Me Anything. So you guys, uh, I really hope you guys all come and join me and ask me a bunch of things and just generate uh, lots of discussion on everything technology. So anyway, let's get into this week's AMA. Hey everyone, we are doing our weekly Ask Me Anything, and this week, Race War Tickets for Sale asked, should I specialize in an area of IT, or should I go into something that is help desk? And what about certifications? That was just the generalization of the question. So basically, one thing that he did ask was, should you go into a NOC, which is a network operation center, or should you go into something that's like help desk? And that's really something that's really, really hard to answer because if you're just getting into IT, you can think that you want to specialize in something and that's great. Specializations are great for sure, absolutely. But that might not be something that you're really interested in once you get into doing it. So really, it's hard to say. If you start out at help desk, you can really kind of gain this knowledge of basically everything. You know, you might have everything thrown at you at one time. So you get a lot of knowledge there, and maybe from there you can kind of say, all right, now I really want to specialize in, say, networking administration or network security, right? So it's a great idea to have an idea of a specialization that you want to go into, but I wouldn't sink your feet deeply into that because you might get into it for a couple years and find that, ah, man, I'm really not as interested in that as I am as systems administration. So it's really hard to answer that question because... It's hard to say what you're going to feel like a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. So just keep that in mind when you are, um, you know, talking about doing a specialization. They're great. Um, I will say that, like, nowadays, anything that's security-related or cloud-related is definitely something that's really on everybody's, like, I want list. I want to do that. You know, I want this person working for my company. So if you're in network security or system security, something like that, that may be an advantage for you. So there's those benefits there. Um, help desk is a great position because you really learn a lot of things. And once you're doing those things for quite some time, you really gain this knowledge of the things that you're really, really interested in. You know, because help desk is really such a wide variety of, uh, of an IT job. Because, like I said, and I'll say it a million times, you do everything as help desk. You know, you you'll get your feet muddy and everything. So, um, starting out at help desk is great because you'll get this knowledge of something that you really, really want to do. So, I don't know that that kind of answers that question. I think. I mean, specializations are great. Help desk is great too. So it really depends on what you really feel that you want to do, and. That's the best answer I can give for you. I'm kind of in a help desk position right now, and I do a little bit of everything, which is awesome. What do I really enjoy? I really, really enjoy um, system administration type of uh, um, tasks and things like that. One thing that I really, really love is Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and imaging and building images and managing users in Active Directory and setting group policies. Those are things that I love to do. And there's jobs out there that, that offer that. But I love interacting with people. <laughs> so I'm really at a crossroads because, yeah, I could maybe do system administrations and I'd be happy doing it because it's really um, complex work sometimes and you're really diving deep into things. But I really love helping people. So that makes my help desk job really awesome because I get to deal with people on a daily basis. I get to help people. I get to fix their problems. And just hearing a thank you is really that, that makes that like makes my day. Anytime I can hear a thank you for fixing somebody's issue, I, I feel great about my day. So that's that's my stance on where I'm at, right? So you need to figure out what you want to do. You need to think about what you want to do. I kind of give you guys as much help as I can, 
but really think about what it is that you really, really love and enjoy, what you're passionate about, things like that. Uh, the next thing he kind of mentioned was certifications. What do I think about certifications? Certifications are great. Whether you have a degree, whether you don't have a degree, certifications are excellent and they look great on your resume. You can get a certification in so many different things. CCNA, Network Plus, A Plus. Uh, God, there's so many. I don't even want to go through all of them because there's tons of certifications that you can get that will definitely benefit you in many, many ways. Um, you know, once you get some experience and you have these certifications backing you up, people look for some of these things that require certifications. Uh, sometimes if you are filling out a job application and they say they really want somebody with an A+, plus, well, if you have your A+, plus, there you go. I mean, you're already one step further than somebody else who maybe doesn't have their A+. Plus. Um, I've even heard of sometimes um, people who don't have degrees but they have certifications. Even though the job requires a degree, they kind of get a little bit lenient and they say, okay, well, you have certifications and you have this experience, so let's give you a shot, right? So... Uh, the bottom line is, uh, if you want to get a certification, go for it. That's going to benefit you uh, tremendously, and that's really kind of what it all boils down to. That's me answering this week's AMA. So if you guys have anything to ask, go ahead and ask me anything. I'm here to answer whatever I can for you guys. Um, it's been a really hectic uh, couple of weeks for me, so things have kind of died down a little bit on my end. But hopefully I'll get back into the swing of things. So, if you guys have anything to ask, go ahead and leave a comment below, and hopefully next week I can answer that in next week's AMA. Or, stay tuned for this Sunday at, uh, we're going to do 10 o'clock Central Standard Time, Chicago time. I'm going to do a live Ask Me Anything. So, stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Like. Do something.